Welcome back to Robinson's Auto 2011 GMC Sierra. With a customer complaint that occasionally he cannot get it out of park and it's been getting worse and worse. Stuck in park. Once he gets it out of park, starts driving, the dash lights up, traction control. We do see we have a fault here in the electronic brake control module. So let's see what we got going on. Pull up some codes, read the codes. As you can see, we have a C0161 ABS brake switch circuit. Okay, well that makes sense. Directly relate it. Let's see if we could uh, recreate his problem. Yep, sure enough. Right there, I'm holding the brake down. Not coming out. Let's see if we can take a peek at some live data. I'm doing a quick voice over here because I have a little bit of stage fright while the customer was leaning over me. <laughs> but I get over it quickly here. So uh, bring up some live data. We want to uh, see if we can view this uh, ABS brake switch, the brake switch. So we want to look for an input. Oh, here we go. As you can see, Right there, same released. I pushed the brake. Oop. That actually dropped out while I was pushing on it. I said released as I was holding it down. See, right there again. And I do have to, oop, I let it off. Put it on. So as I'm applying it, it says applied, but then it drops out. Applied. And it drops out while I'm still holding it. Let me see if I can show you down low. With my foot in the picture. It's going to be a little tricky to give you a good shot here, but I'll do my best. And uh, I think I take over and we'll do some live time from here on out. There you go. I have a press and it says released. Is your brake lights on right now, John? Yep. Brake lights are on right now? Yep. Or is it just your tail? Oh, no, just my lights are on. Okay. I didn't think they would be on. I, I, I got it that long one underneath the tailgate. I wanted to see if that was working or not. Okay. Now, if I let off the uh, brake just a little bit, you'll see the now they just came on, right? The brake lights? Yep. So not only is it not letting you come out of drive when this is acting up, but your brake lights also don't work when it acts up. So as you're driving down the road, people don't really know when you're stopping. You oh. know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know that. All right. So we'll fix this. We'll Most likely it is the switch, but we'll get down there and test it out. So if I just touch the brake a little bit, yeah, I get to say applied. It comes out of gear, no problem. But when it acts up and it says released, trying to get to act up. That's when it stops you. Yeah, right, let's take a look at the schematic. You got your stoplight switch here. It goes to the body control module, ECM. We have an orange with white and it purple, so PU. So we're gonna back row PU in orange and white. We'll take and hook up our oscilloscope now and make sure we're not dropping out power. And we'll just test the switch, make sure we're making the right call. All right, let's go down under the dash, follow your brake pedal up. You will see your brake light switch right there. We followed it up, top two wires. The top one is purple, and the next one down is orange. So it's the top two. Not sure if you can see it, but the purple's on top, orange, white's on the bottom. We are back probe. Trace number one is going to the purple. Trace number two is going to the orange and white, I believe it is.
you can see I have them on both on a 10 volt per division so we're we're hanging up there around 12 volts if I apply the brake so what this is looking like to me is a normally closed switch and then when we press it it's going to open and drop one to ground or just open the circuit and as you can see oops I have the brake pedal pressed right now and did you see how it dropped out I'm not sure if you can catch the going to be hard to see everything along with the brake pedal <laughs> but just to show you what, what he's having happen we'll, uh, just show the brake switch well you can see right here oh apply well you can see I'm still holding down on it and it dropped out release apply Oh, there you go, see it. It's dropping out. But the main thing we wanted to see here is when this is happening, if we were losing our control voltage. Like if our voltage was dropping along with the switch, then we know we have something other than the switch failing. But it's evident now that the power is staying solid. The switch is opening, so we have a bad set of contacts in that switch. So at this point, I feel confident making the call. We have to replace that switch. Holding steady. You see I'm he heavy on the brake right now and it says released. You can watch as I let up on the brake. Now it says apply, now released. Holding down, still says released. See how it dropped out. So hopefully this makes sense. Test, not guess, as some would say. If I can find it. That 10 millimeter bolt right there. Looks like it's sticking out a little bit. It's really not. It's ret holding a retaining clip. We're gonna pull that out. see you gotta pick up on that bottom clip get it passed and then you can pop it off like so you see what happens it drops out here and then you can take in Pull this out, flip it over. Got a little push button tab here. And there's your switch. Alright, so here we have the aftermarket replacement switch. This is the one we just pulled out. Here's the same. Yeah. Let me take it. Slide that here like so. Try to do this one hand, man. Is that suburban your guys? Which one? Eh? Um, Nah. It's a different one. His is brown. Oh, he has one though? He has a Suburban, yeah. He has like 10 cars though, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's on like so. You can see you're back to the side again. That's where this metal clip comes in. Like that. We're going to come down from the top. Definitely don't want that coming out ever. All right, we got some fresh Loctite on there. She's tight. 
That'll keep that retaining clip from coming out. Hopefully that makes sense to you. You do not ever want that linkage to come off. All right. We're gonna go back into live data. We're gonna look for a brake pedal position, BPP signal. I'm gonna step on the brake. Release, step on it, release, and as you can see, press, release, and also his main complaint was when he would push the brake pedal down, he couldn't get it out of here, so now, said sometimes it would work if he would just lightly apply the brake he'd get it out of gear but by the time he made it to the end of his driveway the traction control system would fall so we're gonna take it for a test drive and make sure none of that happens anymore but first we'll take and clear the code all right I think we're good to go I said it would have definitely came on by now right? oh, oh yeah they would have came on as soon as we pulled out of the lot here. Yeah. All right. Awesome.